Hello everyone, welcome back to a new guide. Today we're going to be having a look at a build that I recently created slash stole, partly. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a Colossi drop into a 2 base all-in in PVZ. Now, the, the thing here is, is you can make it look like a Glaive Adapt um, to force out units, maybe some spores early on. Um, but you can also just play it straight up. I'm, I'm going to be showing you the straight up version here pretty much. And I'll show you guys where you can add in things to make it look more either like a DT drop or like for for adapt into DT drop and stuff like that. So first of all, we start by sending out our first worker that returns minerals to block our opponent's natural. And then we get ourselves a 14 pylon and a 16 gate. We can also open with a 13 pylon uh, and send that across the map. And after the 13 pylon straight away chrono life drops. But this is also completely fine. You can stick to the original build order. You're just sending out the probe a bit faster. You see my probe arrives at uh, 45 seconds, which should be absolutely fine to block any kind of uh, expand from the Zerg. Now, we're going to go on with a standard one gate expand with only a single guy in gas before Nexus start. So we're, we're going to keep uh, 16 workers on minerals at, 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 at all times, basically. L literally the entire time there's going to be 16 workers on minerals it's important to note um, there's some builds where you want to send two in gas at the start then when you're building your nexus you only you have two in gas and only 15 on minerals but here's 16 on minerals we rally towards our natural 20 supply we get a nexus 20 supply cyber core we realize our wall well looks like it was made by me um, which is not a compliment most of the time most of the time you don't want to be doing things too much like me um, <laughs> <laughs> we got a uh, yeah, so 20 cyber core. You see, two in gas. We rally this one back into the gas, and we can just be blocking the natural here, scouting around a bit, seeing if there's anything important here. Of course, I'm playing against an AI very easy, but this is a PVC build, by the way. I just realized I didn't mention that, so you might be able to do it against the other race, but I would not recommend it. But we follow it up with a standard 21 gas timing, 22 pylon build order will be in the description below with the. Legacy of the Void spawning tool, of course. Of course, um, you just rally back into gas. Always keep 16 guys on the minerals, like I said before. Now, the moment our cybercore finishes, we start both a stalker and warp gate. Um, this is important because you want to use the stalker to deny vision. Uh, scouting is for losers, so we're not going to be doing that with an adapt whatsoever. You can, you can go adapt stalker. I just prefer a stalker adapt. It makes the game a lot easier to play. Then we follow it up with a robotics facility and then ideally the moment this base uh, finishes we send two probes down from our gas. Now if you're below diamond one don't bother with this just leave guys in gas and honestly just play the build like th there's going to be uh, other things for you to focus on like sending putting the one chrono boost on the natural and if you are above diamond one you can attempt to mess around with the gas timings a bit makes the build a bit more tight but like I said it's not necessary now. In order to fake a, a proper 4 gate glaive, you need to build your gateway at around 60 out of 100. No, sorry, 50, 52 or 50 out of 100 on the research of the warp gate. So try to keep that in mind. Um, it, it, is, it is kind of important if you want to do a proper fake. You're also going to need a second adapt um, before the clock hits 70 out of 100 on the warp gate research. If you don't care about faking, then just build them ASAP. Now, moment robotics facility finishes, we're going to be getting a robo bay. We make a small probe cut at 37 or 30, 36 maybe even, and we straight away start our prison. Okay. We also want to go back into gas at this point. I'm a little bit late with that, but it's okay. Um, you can build another pylon. You can build another pylon. You don't need any extra gates at this point, so it's all good. Now. If you are, um, if you're wanting to do a good fake, like you want your opponent to believe you're playing four gate glaive, you're not going to show your prism immediately. You're just going to keep your prism here until you warp in two extra adapts, and then you move with four adapts and your prism across the map. Now, if you don't care about that, you can just pick up these two adapts, put them in the prism, and you just go harass a little bit, try to kill a drone or two with it. Um, but here, like I said, you can keep your prism at home. And then you can warp in two adapts right now at this point. I don't do it here, like I said, I'm just showing you the exact movement what to do. 
the moment you move out with your prism, you want to be getting a gas, a pylon, uh, perhaps even a second gas. If you want to, the moment your robo bay finishes, you're going to start Colossi, that one has priority, and afterwards you're going to start Prism Speed from the robotics bay. Prism flies across the map. Now one move I think is really cool that you can do when you're doing a Colossi drop is while you're dropping with this, you should just rally your Colossi across the map. You send it in the middle or something like that. Um, so you can pick it up in the middle. So while you're harassing, you don't ever need to return back home. Now, after your first Colossi finishes, you start a Disruptor. Um, once you're at 44 workers, which is perfect saturation, um, 16 on the minerals, uh, three per gas, and then on two bases, that's 22 per base, makes 44 in total. Um, any money you get at that point is going to be invested first in the disruptor that has priority, then into some extra gateways. You can go up to seven or eight gateways, doesn't really matter too much. Um, then into one immortal and, and just as many sentries and salads as you can. Um, I think this game I actually built stalkers, which isn't ideal. You can also build stalkers, but I like to get at least three, four sentries usually first. So. You walk your Colossi across the map and meet up with the Prism. Now, a cool trick you can do is you can pick up your Colossi and then still keep harassing with the Adepts. Imagine there's a third base here. You send your Adepts over here, Prism goes to the main base, and then you go in with the Colossi while queuing up the Adepts into the third. Just a cool little move. You might be able to, to do something nice there. Um, so yeah, your Chrono Boost Disruptor, your Chrono Boost the Immortal. I get up to eight gateways and now I should be producing sentries rather than stalkers, but I do produce stalkers here, so that's a mistake. Sentries and salads while you're harassing with your speedy prism and your colossi. Bum -bidum -bidum. You get a, an observer after this, and this is the point where you start moving out. Once you have these units, you just start moving out. You can still keep harassing, you just A move this across the map. Um, you full wall behind it with a pylon. One less warp in. You move out. And this is it. Now, at this point, what I like to do is, you, you can really do two things. So you can either keep warping in units, more units, or you can also just start your next Colossi. The the units, if you warp in units, you're gonna give your, your push more of an initial oomph. And if you make Colossi, you're gonna have a more uh, extended power. You're, you're gonna have more power later on in the game. So you can get like three Colossi, you can get thermal lands, um, you're still poking and you're clearing creep and sometimes you might be able to kill your opponent with the first one and then together with your uh, disruptor you can do a lot of damage on roaches and ravagers and stuff like that it's a pretty cool build like that so you walk in bump it down keep working in yeah, build the colossi now this is the time for trash talking which is just actually lost to a colossi drop you kill all his workers and then at that point he leaves the game so Pretty perfect. Let's head into a game where I played it on the ladder, and of course I managed to win. So uh, just have a look at that. Check out some movements. Um, just how to harass precisely that kind of stuff. All right. So this game I get completely spotted by Bly, who sent in an overlord, and he sees everything. So instead of moving across the map, I decide, you know what? I'm just gonna kill this overlord with my prism and a stalker. That's also possible, of course. You don't always need to fake things, or you don't always need to actually do the initial harass. Um, so I kill two overlords, get my extra gases, just get my Colossi out, two gateways, Disruptor after this. You can also start with an Immortal after this. Now he actually gets into my main base. This is another fantastic play, which I would not suggest to anyone. D don't don't try that. Th this is why I like to play Stalker first. It makes the game calmer, and as long as you keep it on the proper hold position, nothing bad usually happens. I actually got three working kills there. That's a little bit sad, I didn't realize that. Um, <laughs> This is four work with yours. Jesus. That's a lot. So yeah, this build isn't going too hot this time around, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I, how I think you should be moving around and how you should be trying to do damage with your Colossi most of the time. So what you're gonna be doing is you're, a lot of the time you're gonna be flying either where the links are and you try to do some damage on the links, um, or you're gonna go behind mineral line. So behind the third base, behind the main, and then you're just gonna keep flying. The problem there is sometimes you can get cornered, uh, sometimes there's spores, but you can always try to you know, do some damage on those drones. So you just right click the drones, two shot, and you kill them. Now, if, if links come to, to fight your Colossi, you usually wanna fight those links. If there's roaches, you wanna pi pick up and, and piss off because you don't actually wanna be fighting against roaches with your Colossus. So 
Okay, sad. Disruptor, immortal. Send our observer, not sentry. Um, and then you move out with your units. You can join up with the colossi. And here I immediately start a second colossi. And I think I start my thermal lens as well pretty quickly. Right? Yeah, here we go. Thermal lens. Um, and then you kind of start with your... Uh, with, with your attack. Now, always try to find a good angle for attacking. Usually at the third base is a nice angle. You can go here, but there's a very big angle here, a very big a wide concave for my opponent where I don't really want to be fighting. So just clearing some overlords around the map. You can clear some of the active tumors as well if you want, if your uh, observer is there yet. I think I might have forgotten my observer at home, or where is it? Oh no, it's with my army. So yeah, I can already clear stuff now. One thing that is important when fighting is that basically you don't really want to be fighting unless you're sending out a disruptor ball. And ideally you first throw two force fields so you capture some units and then you throw the disruptor ball. So I'm actually not doing it perfectly here because I first threw the disruptor ball, it hit nothing. And then I started doing some force fields. A lot of the time the best thing to do is throw a force field or two, catch two or three ravagers and then throw the disruptor ball. It's absolutely perfect. Now make sure that when you're rallying Colossi across the map, that they don't get killed by any kind of flank, like Bly was doing here. Of course, you have the prism to help with that. Um, just keep keep warping and stuff. And the funny thing is, this situation doesn't look too great for me, right? Like, what was my damage here? He killed more workers than me with links than I did with a Colossi drop, um, which is not good. He's on 62 workers. He went straight Spire, basically, because he scouted my Robo Bay. So in your mind, he, he might have the perfect counter, but because I just keep rallying Colossi across the map, and his eco actually isn't that great, my army is getting pretty powerful. And if I just hit one or maybe two disruptor shots that, that hit like four or five roaches, I'm in a pretty decent spot already. So here we go. Oop, three Ravagers. Oh, that's good. And then you go back. There's no need to fight unless you have a disruptor shot. Like, you only want to be fighting when you have disruptor shots or really good force fields. And in this case, I had one good disruptor shot and then I got some pretty decent force fields. Then it's like, okay, time to go back, try a different angle. Because I was getting annoyed that he had this flank up and I had I had this thing here. So it's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to be uh, mo moving back for now. I catch part of his army on the map. And he's, he's getting a little bit ballsy, right? He's like, oh, whoa. Three Colossi, that's cool, but I have a, a lot of workers. Well, we don't really care about how many workers you have. We just, at this point, we just keep morphing in, or morphing in, warping in stalkers. At three Colossi, I like to stop. You can add some disruptors. The problem with disruptors is you need to pick them up with your prism because you have a full wall here, which sucks, obviously. Um, here I, I managed to get a hit of on two roaches. And you see how careful I am with using my sentries as well. Like, I'm not immediately using all my energy because I only want to use my energy if I can either get a really good fight or for escaping. Don't stand into bile for too long either. It's not that brilliant. And then you just poke at him from a distance with your Colossi. You outrange him. If he wants to engage into you, that's fine. You have force fields. Um, so then you just use them. And you can target down the Corruptors if he does have those. Disruptor is coming for her to go. This is an absolutely terrible shot again. So that's like my third shot that did nothing. Um, and here's the first time where I actually need to fight. But I already killed the Disruptor or the Corruptor. Um, I have three Colossi. I have one Immortal. And I just kite back. And just like that. Um, I'm actually having a pretty decent fight here. I do lose my Immortal for free. Like my Micro isn't even that great, honestly. I just kited back a little bit. It's not like I was dodging Biles. I wasn't even picking up individual units that greatly. My disruptor basically did nothing this entire game, but you know, this, this build just it gives you a very powerful push and the only thing you need to be doing is be patient because you have units that outrange your opponent, which means every time you hit from a distance, like that's good, so the longer the fight the better. And also you have a disruptor which can shoot once every, what is it, 18, 21 seconds, something like that. So you always want to be trying to use that as much as possible and that's exactly what I did. Now we actually have some decent micro. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? He's, he's gonna be absolutely dead. There's nothing left. Um, at least not compared to what I have. I always like to build a Colossi again if I lose one. Go up, back up to three. I don't know why, but three seems to be such a magic number for me. And, yeah. Then you just kind of hope you win the game. And hopefully your opponent GG's. Perhaps he doesn't because you've just been beaten by someone that is Colossi dropping. So, yeah. Who's worker? Body, body, body. I mean, I wouldn't be doing that. Way better than my opponent as always. Single G. 
he forgot the second G, but that's okay. So yeah, Colossus Roll, just like that for you. Now, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's more videos down here, uh, Patreon up there, together with Twitter, Twitch. Don't forget, I also use Instagram, Instagram.com slash harshtimesc. Wouldn't mind hitting a thousand followers there. Wow, crazy. All right, see you all next time and bye-bye.